Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is of course full and packed and whatever of new makeup releases, especially of the indie world sweeties. <laughs> things have been happening and I'm so so thrilled that we can today sit down and talk about it because seriously my most favorite video of the week right you know okay sweetie if you've just found me I'm Leora I'm a makeup artist and stylist I'm living for colorful bold makeup and styling as you might be able to see but if you want to see more then definitely check out my channel and also my social media which is linked in the description box subscribe so we can spend this journey here together and uh, so we can get more of each other you know what I mean so anyway with all of that being said we're gonna go right in and I am very very excited <laughs> to try to get reception <laughs> you know anyway if you don't know I'm sitting in a bomb shelter basically this is the kind of a uh, thing that we're having here and it's really hard to conceive <laughs> You know what I mean? Okay. Yeah, I am in a very, very silly and happy mood today. So uh, we shall see how this one turns out. Okay, sweetie, uh, let us talk about freaking fabulous cosmetics. Now they are coming out with the Multichrome Madness Palette. Sweeties, you gotta look at that palette. Now I cannot tell you how much this costs, uh, but boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is that palette beautiful. The Multichrome Madness Palette, wow. Wow, this is so, so cool. You, of course, get 12 shades here and all of them look stunning. Unfortunately, I do not, as of right now, have swatches of this palette, but just from how it looks, it is bomb.com. This brand is getting better by the week, you know? <laughs> just saying okay so I also do have a code which is not affiliated so I don't make anything of this I have no advantage of promoting this okay I'm just saying this because it is just genuinely beautiful but you can use my code of course to save some money it has nothing to do with me okay sweeties but this is so so cool anyway let us also talk about the holiday collection from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics um, so this got pretty much like sneak peeked and now it is here and um, so this is the naughty and ice <laughs> naughty and nice collection from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics okay I'm very very glad uh, first of all that she's coming out with her own stuff with her own brand and not in collaboration with Morphe which we spoke about a couple of weeks ago where I thought like why you know I think she was coming out with a 12 pen nude palette or something with Morphe again and I'm like mm, you know and yet she still has to come out as far as I know with eyeshadows that is her brand like from her brand I don't know what is holding her back that for me would be the obvious thing that would have been the way to start for me you know she came out with lipsticks <laughs> completely fell flat on her face but of course after that she has come out with face products and all kinds of stuff which is really really nice and now she has this now she has here the sweet glaze lip lacquer lacquer <laughs> Then we have the Winter Sun Face Palette, Skin Perfecting All Primer, Glaze Over Shimmer Top Coat, Pout Spoken Liquid Lipsticks, Pout Spoken Lip Liners, and all of that. Okay, so anyway, um, in the promotion pictures, I'm going to see if I can include it here. There is that one picture where she wears that dark, super, super dark lipstick, and I think, wow, this looks so not, this is so not you. Then there's that one picture where she wears the red one, and I'm like, bomb.com you know but of course that is very personal preference I just feel like this dark one is just she, it looks like she's trying to be something that she's not but I could of course completely be wrong <laughs> just saying but anyway overall this collection looks cute enough this is not for me but anyway I'm more into eyeshadows and this now is not so exciting for me personally but I know from the comments she got after this release or after the sneak peek that people are very very excited about this okay we also need to talk about Colourpop because I think I have three things from Colourpop and I might have to jump back and forth a little bit because the sorting of files in Instagram is a little bit like <laughs> High maintenance okay sweeties Colourpop is I think sneak peeking is this yeah this is coming soon is sneak peeking the lucky penny eyeshadow palette and it has uh, nine mattes and of course a shimmery shades it's a mixed palette and then you do have light blush stick duos you do have other things that I just don't recognize okay and Lux liquid lipsticks and this is coming soon okay so now this is the collection of course this is very terracotta orangey and I just don't I, what I don't understand 
is the connection to Lucky Penny. Lucky Penny, I would think Lucky must be green, you know, because usually Lucky, I don't know, it, it gotta be green, and Penny, it would be silver. So for me, this would be a green and silver palette, but yet it is this. <laughs> so I don't know what, what the thought process is behind this. This is not going to be for me, definitely not, but maybe it is for you, so feel free to check this out once it launches. Then we also do have the Charmed I'm Sure collection. So this includes four palettes. It, it also includes, um, let, me, let me just tell you, the Blind Time palette, the Locket Lock It Down palette, the Glam Right palette, the Charm School palette, each of them for $14, and then two face jewel sets for $8 each, and then eight Fresh Kiss lip creams for $8 each. For $8 each. <laughs> I almost read French Kiss lip creams. That is not what is written here. It's fresh. <laughs> fresh kiss okay so anyway whatever the taste of a fresh kiss is um or the look of that i have no idea how they come up with these names so yeah but anyway these are the palettes also these are of course way too light for me but then again you know i am also maybe not quite normal when it comes to like the average makeup need of everybody so this might maybe be for someone else but that is not for me i think i'm pretty sure i'm going to come back to colourpop later on in the video again now let us talk about something that i'm like <sighs> holding my breath <laughs> Pink Rush Cosmetics, yay! Pink Rush Cosmetics is sneak peeking the Phenomena eyeshadow palette. And this is all I know. As of right now, just the outer packaging. And of course, that it is going to be a 12 pan palette. Now, if you have not just found me, then you know that I actually just reviewed one of the recent palettes from Pink Rush Cosmetics here on my channel, which is the Metamorphosis palette. And when I'm thinking about it, it might be yesterday's video when you're seeing this on launch. Okay, so just so you know, in case you want to know more about Pink Rush Cosmetics, go and check out my channel. One of my recent videos will be the review of the Metamorphosis palette with several looks. Super huge fan of this brand. Just like a new discovery and it's also quite a new brand in general and for me definitely a new discovery uh, for like personal use beyond talking about it here in my new makeup releases. I think this is a brand to have your eyes on, sweeties. Hmm? Okay, Phenomena. This looks very, very promising. Okay, then Risa Beauty is also a new brand that I just found, and that is going to be the Tragedy, no, the Sweet Tragedy Volume 1 eyeshadow palette in a coffin, <laughs> coffin shape. Uh, we do have 12 killer shades with a mix of six mattes, three hyper chromes, two shimmers, and one satin. Okay, I think because I don't really have a very, very good picture of this palette, but on the swatches, you can see the overall color scheme if you look beyond the tattoo <laughs> you know it's a little bit distracting but if you like focus a little bit on it then then you can see the overall color scheme um this is now available for pre-order for 35 dollars and after the pre-order sale it will be retailing for 42 dollars and this is available now okay so this is the palette in case you want to check out Risa beauty okay then let's also talk about this one this is coming from norvina and these are the norvina chroma sticks and i was like hmm interesting definitely has my attention because i love stuff like this less for body art but definitely for eyeliners you know and i do believe that one can use it for this and that or or that you know so you do have all kinds of shades here uh, which look really really nice and is this live already this this should be live already in case someone of you picked this up please let me know what you think about it how the performance is because some of those colors really really speak to me and if they are chromey unfortunately do i have do I have real swatches I do have swatches but they are so small and from so far away that it is kind of really not very helpful you know I'm going to try to also include the swatch uh, picture here you so so you see what I mean I don't think this is a picture that is at all helpful just so you see it on different skin tones but fine beyond that you don't really see much you know it looks like colorful matches put on a on an arm <laughs> But yeah, anyway, let's maybe have some closer closer pictures next time. That would be great. Okay, so, but anyway, it looks really, really nice. I do not have a price for this right now. Okay, so let's talk again. Let's talk again about ColourPop because they also have collaborated with NBA and they have come uh, out with six palettes, six nine pan palettes, okay? You do also have gel liners. You do have a glitter face gel. You do have face stickers. 
<laughs> paint stickers and makeup bags. And the whole collection, I do believe, retails for $63, which is actually a very good price for all the products you're getting here. And also here, the color schemes are actually really, really cute, at least partially you know i i i don't know any of these teams like just from like hollywood movies or something i hear them mentioned but i of course i have never been to a game i'm not a fan of anything when it comes to sports i'm just like i'm happy if i can be at home and do youtube you know that is my life but anyway uh, the the color schemes I can only see from the logo of the of the different teams how they like translated it, it into a palette and it looks very very decent so that is basically all I can judge and that is that so feel free to check this out this is already live when you're seeing this okay then let's also talk about uh, Morphe because they are coming out with the larger than life holiday collection for 2021 <laughs> okay so we have the uh, 35 shades a big Pr primping? What? Primping? Artistry palette? What does that mean? Wait, primping? Primping? I have no idea. Please let me know what this means. Uh, for $26 and then you do have also a, a smaller palette for $12. You do have a Make It Big Trio. What in the world? <laughs> that mean anyway so all kinds of stuff this whole collection feel free to check it out of course on their website this is of course a not my makeup style necessarily but i love big palettes so if that would be a nice color scheme that like suits me more that would be definitely something for me but this color scheme is just not too much it okay let's talk about uh saints angel sinners because actually the owner has released the palette that was supposed to come for what's it called 420 next year she has released it now because it was so so sweet because she said this is so beautiful i cannot hold it back you know and it's so so cute so anyway uh, this is the palette and as when i'm filming this there are still some available so uh, go and check this out look also at the swatches it looks so so sweet uh, seriously so so cute and i just feel her excitement she is so adorable when it comes to her makeup you know so sweet and it shows you she's working far ahead she's had has a lot in the planning like on the how does one say that the, the sketchboard or something you know she's working on a lot of things and then just the the over um, the excitement is overwhelming and then uh you just have to like you have to release it because it's so so beautiful and i'm like yeah i get that i get it yeah anyway that could be me you know definitely so <laughs> Just imagine me having a brand and working on something that I'm so, so excited about. And you know that I'm an excited person when it comes to makeup, right? So just imagine me working at a palette that is supposed to launch next spring. It would be f like it would be against nature. <laughs> I don't think I could do it. So yeah, and she's also coming out with blushes, which is really, really new. They retail for $16 each, and uh, this is how they look. You get six different shades. Feel free to check it out on her Etsy. Okay, then let's also talk about Joa Beauty. That is a new brand for me, and they're coming out with the Prime uh, All-in-One Foundation very very cool name and this retails for $16 each and you do get all of these shades which is 24 shades okay um this looks cool i would not mind it at all if i had a primer and foundation in one thing um let's see what it says here this triple treat three in one foundation is putting in overtime infused with a blurring primer and illuminating skincare our transformative formula seamlessly camouflages into your complexion to hide imperfections there's the <laughs> wow the rest Result is a finish that looks and feels like your skin with a natural radiance available in 24 shades okay that is really really nice the only thing where I would say you could tweak that a little bit is maybe that the skin tones could go darker because seriously th this is not the best range you know if we're completely honest here and we should be so anyway that is that overall the what they say about this product sounds really really promising and really really good so i have not tried this brand as i told you i just found it so that is what it is in case you want to check it out then let's also talk about something that is super super exciting and that is coming from notoriously morbid because they are coming out with the lucky palette now this is a super super nice color scheme uh, also a little bit like fall vibing but also in general it's really really cool um it says here it's lucky inspired who is lucky 
I don't know. So this is the Loki inspired palette and this is going to be on their website on October 22nd. Um, yeah, this looks really, really beautiful, I have to say. Yeah. So anyway, I do have right now, I just received my first Notoriously Morbid palette and I will, of course, not buy something before I have not tried the first one, you know. But anyway, this looks so, so beautiful. Super stunning. Um, do I have swatches? No, as of right now, I do not have swatches, but that could be super interesting, honestly, because greens, I just need to see greens on skin, you know. It's just a, a must. Okay, sweet, is the next release. When that showed up on trend mode, I was like, oh, hold me tight. That is this one. This is from Danessa Myricks and I'm like wow. This is the Lightwork Volume 3 Infinite Lights palette. This is an all-over face multi-use palette. It's curated with 14 out of this world galactic shades and multiple mesmerizing finishes. <laughs> yeah okay limited edition press and play whatever that means. What does that mean? <laughs> But anyway, it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. The shift just from seeing it in the pans uh, looks beautiful. Absolutely gorgeous. And of course, I think these bigger shades in the middle you could also use as highlighters on like all over. Oh, this is so good. So, so good. But sweeties, this goodness has a price tag. <laughs> it will only cost you $125. <laughs> so yeah, and there goes like the, the, the mood goes like meow. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, I wish, I just wish makeup could stay affordable, no matter what your name is. I've heard that she's some kind of famous makeup artist. I have no idea, you know? But anyway, I think still, it's still just your name, you know? Uh, let's put my name on the palette and sell it for $50. <laughs> shall we? So anyway, I told you, uh, this is my mood today, okay? So anyway, you, you'll just have to love me anyway. Um, let's talk about C Color Cosmetics uh, because they're coming out with this Spice Eyeshadow Palette. Now this is a really, really nice fall themed release, also nice and dark vibing, super, super cool. 18 shades with mattes and shimmers and this is already available when you're seeing this. Now I have tried C Color off camera lately because I'm actually working on a um, on a concept on something that I want to have a video about so I'm not going to talk too much about that yet but definitely I'm going to talk about C Color in the future here on my channel uh, because I do have I think two or three palettes from C Color Cosmetics and anyway so this is the new one and of course I do not have that yet <laughs> All right, so let us also talk about this one. And I really don't know how to pronounce this. Is it Mikey Beauty? Is it Michi Beauty? I have no idea. I only know from the Instagram that they are based in Switzerland. And there is this palette, which looks gorgeous, which is, I think, I honestly don't know. It says on the palette, Boss Babe, but in the description, it says All Eyes on Me. So I really don't know. What is it? <laughs> I don't know. So this is their palette and I think this one looks absolutely beautiful. So maybe if you're based in Europe and you prefer to, to buy stuff that is within the EU or something, you know, maybe that would be something for you. Um, I think this palette looks absolutely gorgeous, honestly. I have not heard of this brand. I don't know anything about the performance or anything. So if you do know, if you've tried them, then please let all of us know, of course, in the comments. All right, then let's also talk about Black Moxie Cosmetics because they're sneak peeking something. Something is coming which sounds amazing and that is the Forbidden Forest eyeshadow palette and I have three of the swatches live here already. This is sneak peek number three. We shall see what else is coming. If there's anything while I'm editing I'll still add it. Um, if not then we'll just speak next time about it but this is going to become available on October 30th. I do not have a price for this but it looks like it will have four shades. I think the last one is still missing just according to what I what I see here. So yeah this is super exciting. The Forbidden Forest eyeshadow palette. Cool name. Cool name. Okay it's Belle Cosmetics is also sneak peeking something and I I promise you these these brands are like really <laughs> They're, they're down to destroy my mental health because I'm like oh, this is nice and this is nice and I'm like what, what am I gonna do you know yeah I am that dramatic okay so it's Belle Cosmetics is sneak peeking the dawn of fall eyeshadow palette <laughs> the dawn of fall such nice names you know I really really enjoy this seriously so by the way I'm also actually wearing one of the shades from it's Belle Cosmetics from the break the rules palette on my lips so um yeah a uh, big fan 
just saying and this is coming soon I have no more information and as of right now I just have a video of one shade so I'm going to try to take a screenshot of course or is it two shades no I think it's one shade and it's just the different shift between purple and blue or purple and teal I'm definitely going to put it up here all right so that is going to come and of course we're going to talk about that more once we get to that point okay then we also need to talk about the mommy and me palette from black culture cosmetics and it looks like this now here you have an orange palette with some neutrals and also some purple this looks like it has glitters in it let's see nine shades three mattes three shimmers and three glitters available already for your for your purchase <laughs> if you want to purchase it wow so yeah um let's see the purple is a matte yeah the whole top row is matte then in the middle you do have the shimmers and on the bottom row you do have the glitters looks really really nice to me nice depth you know gives you a nice range of uh, stuff to do so and also the outer packaging is designed really really cute why why does it say mommy and me in the description and then here on the palette it says the ballerina who lost her fro i don't know I don't know so anyway that is the palette in case you want to check it out this is live already then let's also talk about this one because I have been tagged in this so many times because guys you know I like big palettes I like colorful so you tag me this is beauty creations and they're coming out with three new palettes for Halloween the fortune teller palette the ringmaster palette and the circus clown palette each one of them has 35 shades with a mix of buttery mattes shimmers and pressed glitters and they will retail for $19 each or $50 for the whole collection okay this is already life I have to say I personally I'm most attracted to the one which is which is the name now I don't know it's the one to the top left with the the gray blue on one side and purple and then the more warmer colors pink and orange um, on the other side this I think is a very very interesting color scheme uh, am I going to get this no <laughs> No, I will not because I personally I tried beauty creations I'm not the biggest fan of that formula honestly so but maybe you are and that is completely fine and I am very very much for affordable makeup you know I'm very very much for that it is a good thing you know it's a very very good thing so I'm definitely promoting that part of it but you have to make up your mind yourself about the formula if it is good for you or whatever okay so now let us move on to the next one and that is for art sake cosmetics and that is their new new palette which is called Raven and this is inspired by Edgar, Edgar Allan Poe I think okay it's good that they're right here who that is Edgar Allan Poe was an American white writer poet editor and literary critic Poe is best known for his poetry that is so cool Poe poetry <laughs> You know? Okay, so Poe is best known for his poetry and short stories, particularly his tales of mystery and the macabre. Macabre? Don't know how to pronounce it. Okay, so anyway, this is the one. I have never heard of him, but the color scheme of the palette is actually really, really cool. It is a little bit hard for me to see on the picture that I have here, which is probably the picture that you see also. What exactly are the exact nuances uh, between those four darker shades in the bottom right corner? Um, I think there could the middle shade there could be a very, very dark green. Could be. And then, of course, you do have two very, very dark reds which I'm craving it's like old clotted blood which is so so cool and the other the other one I think is a black okay so anyway super excited to see swatches about um, of this one uh, this retails for $27 and this is available now I think this is a very very cool very dramatic palette you know seriously dramatic palette very cool okay now let's also talk about the trampy vamp uh, because they are coming out with two palettes one of them is the morticia palette with nine shades five of them are shimmers three are mattes and one is a glitter shade and then the anne boleyn palette consisting of nine shimmers okay sweeties anne boleyn huge fan do you know you know everything that it has to do with royalty and stuff yeah I'm the dictionary with the the encyclopedia when it comes to stuff like this because you know I'm just so vibing with the concept anyway so that is that Anne Boleyn huge fan um sometimes I thought that you know maybe in a previous life 
<laughs> I'm not gonna go there. Okay, sweeties, anyway, um, these are the two palettes that they're coming out with. Um, an all shimmer palette with so many light shades, that's gotta be your makeup style, that is definitely not mine. The Morticia palette is more my makeup style, but honestly, uh, we spoke about this already in last week's video, I do believe, that a lot of people really just need a palette like this Anne Boleyn palette and just dab it on with their finger all over their lid and they put on some mascara and they leave the house and they're done for the day, you know? So that is also totally fine. It's just a different style. They retail for $25 each and they're available now for pre-order from the Vampy Tramp. So let us also talk about Toffee Cosmetics because they're coming out with fall time lip glosses. These are already live and we have those four shades here. Also the swatches actually look really, really nice. They look more opaque than I would expect for a gloss, which is really nice also. I always suffer from the fact that glosses, I like the concept of glosses and the glossiness of glosses, you know, the whole thing that it's not matte and it's not like, you know, but um, I always think like, why, why does it need to be so sheer? I wish they could just have the color that they have in the component, you know, that could be so nice. Like do a liquid lipstick that is not dry for once, you know, not matte for once. Okay. So anyway, but these glosses actually look really, really nice. It says here they are super creamy, smell delicious and are not sticky. So yeah, that is from Toffee Cosmetics. I don't have a price. Then let's also talk about Gatita Gang because she's coming out with this palette. This is the Gangsta Clown number no. two palette featuring five glitters, five shimmers, and five mattes. And it says here they included some of your favorite shades from the uh, Gangsta Clown number no. one. Now I'm not aware right now what the Gangsta Clown number no. one was or how it looked like, but this is the number two in any case. And also, this is a very cool execution of a, um, a fall themed palette with the addition of course of these uh, gray shades which is kind of really cool because of the clown theme and stuff. You do also have three lip bundles and this is already live when you're seeing this. Now uh, Kim Chi Chic Beauty has collaborated with Plastic Tiara and they're coming out with a face palette and two eyeshadow palettes and uh, two lip products and also a lip liner. Okay so this is of course a very very neutral release which is perfect for the right person for me. Of course this is not so much. I actually do really like the face palette though. It might be too light for me because I personally like to go a little bit darker. I usually use or choose uh, shades that would maybe be more normal for like medium skin tones even though I'm very fair myself. But anyway this looks really really cute. It's just not personally for me but maybe it's for you so you feel free to check it out. You do have these two eyeshadow palettes for $32 each I would assume. Is it? Nude Sensation Snack for two eyeshadow palettes, $32. I don't know. Does that mean for both of them or each? I have no idea. Then you have the Nude Sensation Life in Plastic Blush Bronzer and Highlighter Palette for $28 and the Nude Sensation Bento Babes Lip Kit for $25. So that, um, that implies that it's for both of those lipsticks and the lip liner, of course. Okay, sweeties, let us also talk about DJ's Unique Boutique because she is going to release six new holiday single eyeshadow which look like this and you do have Silver Bells, Noel, Holly, Snow Globe, 24K and Rudolph and each of them retail for $7 each. <laughs> yeah okay anyway so this is um, this looks really really cute also the swatches look really really nice I'm pretty sure that you will be able to see this in action on Colorful Camille's channel because um, because I'm pretty sure <laughs> So yeah, anyway, feel free to check out Camille, of course, because she has an amazing channel and she's a very, very amazing friend. So yeah, okay, let's also talk about Euphoric Sun because they are coming out soon with the Yang, Yang Shi, I don't know, Yang Shi palette. Um, this is Asian folklore and Yang Shi is a hopping vampire that attacks at night. <laughs> That's the first thing I would make a palette about. <laughs> yeah, but besides that, of course, that is just my personal preference. I'm not into scary stuff at all, you know, but the color scheme uh, when it comes to a six pan palette is actually done super, super well. You do have six shades, of course, three mattes and three shimmers. And this is already live when you're seeing this. Okay. So anyway, Yang Chi. Okay. I hop in vampire. <laughs> 
<laughs> what people come up with is really something. Okay, Virtual Girl Cosmetics. I do believe that is also a new brand for me that I just found this last week. And they're coming out with uh, this palette. This is their new eyeshadow. Do I have a name for this? A new eyeshadow palette containing 15 shades with matte shimmers and glitters. This has launched already when you're seeing this. So I will probably put down the name in the description box together with, of course, the link to the brand. You do, of course, have here a very, very dark leaning palette with some lighter shades. And overall, though, it has this dark vibe to it, which I personally prefer. I love these kinds of palettes very, very much. And yeah, it's, it's going to be really interesting for me to find out what this palette is actually called, because that could maybe give me a little bit more of an of an idea what what the color scheme is all about you know I cannot really get it from the from the outer packaging what is that a spaceship or what is it I don't know <laughs> yeah, so anyway I'm going to definitely leave it of course in the description box then let's also talk about deadly sins cosmetics because they are coming out with two palettes one is a trick eyeshadow palette featuring nine shades with three shimmers and six matte finishes for $39 and then the treat palette with stunning and delicious colors named after Halloween candy featuring two satins two shimmers and five matte finishes also for $39 and then you do have bath bomb products and uh, the trick and treat trick or treat pumpkin sponge bundle for $39. Okay, let's talk about the palettes. I think, of course, the left one with the dark packaging is, of course, the more traditional fall theme palette, but also the other one, like, just, just imagine to combine them, what kind of bomb.com looks you could create with both of those palettes. Really, really cool. I am less into sponges, like, <laughs> they look very cute, but it's not, like, I'm not passionate about this, but eyeshadow always, I will always hear available for eyeshadow so that is that. Okay, Pout and Shout. Pout and Shout uh, is coming out with the steampunk palette. <laughs> Sweeties. This person is so creative. It's all made with upcycled material and when you uh, turn on those uh, little wheels, the eyeshadow pants basically, then they hook into each other and it's like, um, like wheels turning each other, you know? I don't know how to say that in English. But anyway, it says here it has grungy, dirty, versatile nine shades. <laughs> This is so cool to promote yourself with grungy dirty that is so so cool anyway snazzy formulations like duochromes and layered textures pay according to your own means with a suggested price from between 20 pounds to 30 pounds and that is this brand it's just an incredible brand seriously so so cool now is this my color scheme not necessarily but th this this brand is so original and i just love it for that you know because there is so much that is like copy and paste but this brand is just standing it's outstanding it's outstanding in what she is putting on original originality i don't know how to say it um into her brand and that is so so cool and she's also coming out with this one this is the froggy uh, what's it called a reserved palette i think it's um froggy themed <laughs> you know so so cool seriously okay so anyway do i have a price for this anything between 15 pounds and 30 pounds you know very very cool all right sweeties and that is it for today we are done <laughs> I'm sure by the time you see this, a lot of other things have been sneak peeked and I will be very frustrated that I have not included it in the video. But as always, of course, we will we'll make up for it next time, right? We are relaxed about this. We do not need to be the first ones. Uh, and that, that is just how it is, you know, in life. Sweeties, I really enjoyed myself here today. I, had, I have so much fun talking about makeup and I want to remind you that you are actively saving my marriage. <laughs> by listening to me because otherwise I would have to talk to my husband about all of the re these releases and that would destroy him you know so yeah um he's very grateful yeah sweeties okay that is that I'm going to of course have all the brands and the products linked in the description box down below of course you will also find there my discount codes that I have with different brands you will find ways to support my channel you will find links to my social media and all of that so feel free to check it out and also if you want to know what I have on my face I will of course have it all listed in a pinned comment down in the comment section sweeties leave me your comments let me know what you think about the releases what you're getting what you have already feedback about stuff that you have 
tried and anything else you know and also if you have um, any topics that you want me to maybe talk about while I'm applying makeup and while I'm testing makeup here on my channel then also let me know down in the comments or even better send it to me by DM on Instagram because then I don't miss it you know because I definitely want to you know talk about stuff that interests you here on my channel besides that of course subscribe to my channel in case you're new here and you have not done so and I will see you here tomorrow for a very very special video so make sure to come back for that one and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle hugs and kisses bye